Hello guys, Hana Kilumi, hmm. Tinubu receives unexpected warning over excrementing hardship in Nigeria. My people, this will shock you to see what ex minister have told the president. Enough is enough, he said. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always stopping by. God bless you all. Chief Induisi, the former Minister of Land and Housing and Urban Development, has issued a stark warning, just like other, you know, uh, Nigeria other statesmen has done regarding the rising discontent among Nigerians due to severe economic challenges. In its statement delivered in Abuja, he urged the federal government to urgently re reevaluate its economic strategies, which he believes are exhibiting poverty and inflation, leaving countless citizens struggling for survival. Indubisi criticized the swift remove of fuel subsidies and other economic measures implemented by the President Tunubu administration, arguing that these policies are causing unprecedented suffering across the nation. He liked the current situation to the hardship experienced during the Nigerian Civil War, stating that families are increasingly unable to meet their basic needs. The level of suffering across the country is unprecedented, he stated. While those policies may have been intended to improve the economy, they are instead deepening poverty and increasing inflation. This are proportionally affecting our most valuable populations. The former minister emphasized the necessity for a balanced approach that considered both physical responsibility and well-being of citizens. He called for physical discipline and a reduction in government expenditures, warning that it is inhuman to persist with current policies without a clear plan to alleviate the citizens' burden. If immediate action is not taken to address hunger, this poverty and growing discontent, we risk losing the patience of our people. He cautioned this could land to catastrophic consequences for our nation. Shifting focus to the Niger Data Development Commission, the NDDC, he expressed his disappointment with his performance, labeling it a symbol of corruption and inefficiency. As a key advocate for establishing the NDDC, he lamented how far it has stayed from its original mission of fostering development in Nigeria's oil-rich Niger Delta region. The truth is that, no matter how we see what is going on, corruption by these leaders, these leaders, you know, have crippled everything. They don't want to know. That is one bad thing about it. They don't want to know whether Nigerians are suffering or they are going through this, this and that. So whatever that is happening to you, you are your own to them. That is just it. Whatever Nigerians are going through is none of their business. That is why these governments have refused to listen to the voices that are saying, no, this is just too difficult for us. But there is one thing they don't know. There is a level you can push people to the wall. They will no longer look, they will react. You get. Then they talk, say, an angry, an angry person is an angry person. You understand? There is no two way about it. If you de hungry, you de vex. But this government, they don't understand. They feel that, oh, now we get cutlass, now we get yam. Anyhow, we like, we go cut them. Because they, 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 they are forgotten that if they will come, that knife might be taken from them. They go even use and face them. They, they forget. We are all human beings. None of them get seven heads anyway. Now, one, one head we all get. So don't feel it because you are in a position. You're going to use and intimidate people. You don't listen to what people are saying. Nigerians are hungry. When people protest, you go arrest them. You go charge them for treason because they said the hardship is hard. 
the, the, the suffering is difficult, the hardship is too much. Nobody should speak because you are in charge. Whatever you say, is, oh, that is the final. They will, they will plan doing things. After doing it, then they will now tell Nigerians, we are planning to buy presidential jet. But then they have done that. So whatever you think, whatever be your opinion, you are your own. So that is what these leaders are just doing. So what they are doing is the more you look, the less you see. I've told us time with that number. If Nigerians actually understand their common enemy, nobody will rig election. Yes, nobody will rig election. Do we really know what we are doing? Are we even, are we even learning? Have we actually learned? That is the question. Nobody will rig election if you know yourself. If you know yourself, you, don't, you will not allow anybody to use 10,000 error to deceive you. You, you will stand. Then say, if person they force meat, they put for your mouth. If your teeth, you bite them together. He must go through that first before it will get to your mouth. So if person they force and they put for your mouth, he must go through your teeth. That is tightened before the person will get to your mouth. So why can't we just tighten that teeth and don't let it to pass? Next time they will understand. Say that place no no go area. They don't go do one. But no, we know one here. These people go they talk go this side. The other people they talk go this side. But the good part of it is that everybody they buy the fuel. Abi, they say Peter will be this, Peter will be that, Peter will be this, Peter will be that. If you put, uh, if let's say for example, they say they go buy fuel for ten thousand naira a liter, Peter will be go see afford them. So I don't know. Peter will be go see afford them. Those people who are fighting for Nigerians, like Omo Elosharie, who we talk, they say, "Guys, sit down, this and that." If you put a uh, pump for ten thousand naira, he will afford it. He go still pay now, more. because we have all these things here. He will afford it without nothing, without getting to him too much. But we when we say we not get nothing, now we they clap for these people to continue to 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 commit corruption. Do whatever they like. It's so sad though. Well, at the drop on for you. Drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on.